Right, hi everybody, hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be going through the different syllabuses. So, the aim is I'm going to explain everything that is in your syllabus for your grade. I will run through what you need to do for whatever ages, whatever groups, whatever classes you are in. And then I will tell you what needs to be done for your individual grades. Then you'll see me performing moves from your syllabus that you can then obviously copy and match up with your syllabuses. There'll be a couple of little differences to what are on your syllabus, so I'll explain them through as a couple of updates, but nothing major, nothing that you won't know, just maybe a different way of doing a few different things. Right, so I'm going to explain what is on the syllabus sheets now. So anything I leave off the syllabus sheets, we will not be now practicing in the syllabus unless I explain otherwise. So if there's a couple of little things on there you think, hang on, he didn't read that out, that is because we're not going to be using that these days in the syllabus. So I have made that as a modification. Also, you might find I clarify a few things or go over a couple of bits and pieces where I might change slightly how they're done. So on the syllabus sheet now, as you're going through it, look at what I'm saying. Obviously, if I leave something out, Look at it and think, right, obviously he's taken that out of the syllabus or we're not practicing that these days in the syllabus. If you're not sure on anything, just feel free to message me or to uh, give us a call and we can run through it with you. Blue tag to blue belt, 30 press ups, 30 sit ups, 30 squat thrusts. So the new kicking techniques that you need to know for this grade, along with all previous kicks, are a twist kick, a reverse turning kick, a spinning hook kick, A jump spinning back kick. The pattern is pattern your gok plus all previous patterns up to this grade. The measuring, so the new measuring technique now that you have to do is a turning kick on both legs. The walking techniques taken from your pattern, usually going forward and backwards, four times forward, four times back, but this could change, are an inner forearm block, low front snap kick, double punch middle. Walking stance, hooking block. L stance, twin knife hand. in X stance into a high back fist strike. So this will just be done on the spot showing the technique. Set sparring is one to five kicking. If you are 12 and under this set sparring will be done on the spot. The attacks and defences also, it is the only set sparring you need to know for your grade, but you can show all previous ones if you can remember them. Students 13 and above will do this set sparring with a partner. They will also show previous set sparrings. Free sparring is included in this grading. In. 
destruction, students now have to break with a side kick on both legs. So this will be done breaking and this is for students 13 and above. The grade in theory is your cup, so your grade is fifth cup, five belts away from black belt. The pattern is your gok, there's 38 movements. The meaning, the meaning is your gok is the pseudonym of the great philosopher and scholar Yi Ai, 1536 to 1584, nicknamed the Confucius of Korea. The 38 movements of this pattern refer to his birthplace on the 38 degrees latitude and the diagram represents scholar. The colour again is blue because you are aiming for a blue belt and that is blue signified by his heaven towards which a plant matures into a towering tree as training in Taekwondo progresses.